I'm filming. This is weird. I don't know if I know how to do this anymore. Um, my daughter's napping. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be napping for a while. I haven't filmed in, I don't even know how many months. Mentally, it's a little bit taxing. Physically, it takes a lot of energy to get even this part done. <laughs> but I thought I would do this empties video because I do wanna kind of share a really cool Amazon thing that I'm doing. Um, most of you guys probably know about it. It's the Amazon Influencer program and basically I just link all my favorite things on there. I do potentially get a commission from it, assuming people buy from my links, but the way I have it organized is I organized it from like my makeup kit, makeup tools, my personal vanity, um, and then I also have empties on there. So I liked it really to be very organized um, and so hopefully that makes a difference for if you're searching for things that you know that you like my recommendations. Um, my empties is on there so all of these will be on there assuming I can find them all but that's gonna be linked below the first empty is dry shampoo girl I don't even know how many of these I've gone through I go through so many I chopped my hair off um, partly because I was like having some um, hair loss from nursing for my baby and then I'm getting some growth back which is really fun um, the way that process is looking. When my hair is short, it's much more difficult to style and dry shampoo makes a big difference. So the Batiste one is like my favorite. I talk about it all the time. Uh, one of my sisters says it makes her scalp itchy, which I've never really had that issue. So she's a weirdo though. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Next empty is this Mario Badescu facial spray. This one's the rose water uh, one. And I like this because lately I haven't been, not lately, but like ever since my daughter was born, I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup as much as I used to and um, just having something on my face to feel very luxurious and spa-like especially when days don't feel like a spa this made like a really nice difference for just my mental state really um, I love this stuff I actually was able to repackage another one into my MAC fix plus spray and it sprays better I don't necessarily like this mister but again I don't use this as a finisher I use it more like um, like if I'm in the middle of the day and I just want to kind of refresh and feel like I need to pick me up, you know, this is a really good way to do it. Kind of along the same lines as that, but a little bit different is toner. This is the Thayer's toner from Thayer's. Um, I buy mine at uh, Amazon. I also get them if I'm around um, a Target, I'll get it from there. But this one's the rose petal one. I actually really like the smell of roses. Some people hate that scent and I totally get it. I think they have a cucumber one and maybe a plain one, I'm not sure but I love this one. So it's a toner, it doesn't, it's alcohol free, so it doesn't really dry out your skin, but it's really good for if you're the kind of girl like me, who's particularly oily on the skin, but you don't wanna strip your face of oils because honestly girls, like oil makes us look younger longer. So keep the oils, um, but you wanna kind of like have a clean slate before you do your makeup. So let's say you wash your face in the morning, maybe you're doing some other stuff and then your face is like oily again, use a little bit of a toner and then um, you can redo your makeup. So this is why I like this stuff a lot. I've been using a regular old generic toner, which I used right after I gave birth for other stuff. Um, so I'm using that. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go right back to this one because I love it so, so much. Okay, one thing I tried post baby, actually, I was trying it before baby, but I, I was working out, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing, but I was trying this post baby and it does not, no, 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 is this one. Um, the healthy deodorant I tried you guys I really really tried it I don't know what not only did it make me feel like it sweat more I felt like I was stinky more um, there is another natural formula I think it's that's not Tom's it's a different one but it's lavender that one at least smells really good and also the other one by native um, that one's really good I have a mini and I keep that in my purse that one actually it feels like kind of goopy but it didn't make me sweat more and it didn't make me stinky. This one made me stinky and so I'm not buying that again. The next thing, this one's for my kit. Um, these were actually hard to come by. I Obviously they sell Neutrogena wipes everywhere and anywhere. A little single packets I was having a really hard time finding for whatever reason. I guess they just don't make them a ton or they're just not readily available. But I found these on Amazon. Um, I also found them at Bed Bath & Beyond. So I got a few. They're individually packaged, they're not very eco-friendly per se but they are so much of a space saver for my makeup kit um having a big old chunk of makeup wipes it just wasn't smart sometimes i don't need the whole package sometimes it would dry out because of the flap um, so these are really really helpful and i like to do this especially if i'm doing like a teen 
or I'm doing a girl who maybe never really wears makeup, I like to give her one of these as she goes because sometimes they don't really necessarily have a makeup remover to use on their own. So I like these. This one, um, it's teeny tiny and it's about ball bent and gross. This one's the Embryolise um, Moisturizer. This is my go-to moisturizer. I actually keep a full size of this one, which is tiny. Look how tiny that is. I keep this whole size in my makeup kit. They sell a bigger one, like this big, um, but I had to repackage it, and it's really hard to repackage because the product is so emollient and thick that it wasn't like easily transferable into another container. So I liked using this by itself, um, and I could only actually find this on Amazon. And I think I got like two, um, two sizes of the minis, but. They, don't, they used to actually sell this at Target, and then my Target, for some reason, stopped selling Embryolis, and they stopped selling these minis, because I actually found this at Target originally in the little mini section, and then they stopped selling them, so then I had to go on Amazon and find them, but luckily they were there, but this is a really, really great moisturizer if you're really, really dry. I love it in the winter. Um, this past winter, I actually really used this a ton on myself, not just on my clients, and um, so it's kind of nice to have a mini version of it. But the full size is great if you don't just want to like test it out and see, the minis are there too. The Infallible Matte um, Primer. This one, I thought I loved. I don't love it as much as I love other ones anymore, but it was a really good primer. If you have like medium, oily skin where you don't need everything to soak up the oil, because there's like a time where sometimes I need a little bit of moisture or a little bit of that like built-in dew in my skin. I don't need to like suck out all the oil. Sometimes this was great for that, but around my nose is always like the problem area. So um, this was great to use uh, for just like general areas where you don't get like a lot of oily. Um, I like this one a lot. I actually use it a ton. I use all of it. And the only reason I won't purchase it again is because I did find something that works better and I can use that. Like, I could target it more. This one I'm not buying anymore, but it was a really good one if you have maybe combination skin and it's not that oily where it seeps through. Um, this is a really good one for that. All right, this is my go-to, my Kiss Eyelash Adhesive. This is my favorite. I always end up buying this at a CVS. Actually, no, at a Walgreens. Um, every single time I see one of these, I just get so excited. They do have, like, um, they do... Why is he riding his ass? This is particularly good for strip lashes. I have an entire IGTV on how to apply strip lashes and what my tips and tricks are. Um, so maybe I'll link that too, but this is what I use on there. I use it all the time and I already bought a new one. This product that I'm getting rid of is this matte liquid liner. The only reason I'm getting rid of it is because it was empty. It's for real empty. I love it so much. This one is super, super matte. It's not meant to be waterproof, but I feel like it is like it literally stays on as if it was a waterproof product so i don't know what i like most about it is that it's super black but that it dries matte um there's a lot of liners that are just really really good really really black easy to use but they don't have they have that shiny like texture at the end of it and i just don't love that uh so this was like my favorite one i like using this in my kit too again i've used um, tart ones, I've used MAC ones, and just this one it works amazing. I, I, I put it on a little um, palette and then I use it and it's just like really, really good. It's also really great to smudge really quickly, but there's not a ton of time. And this one's from NYX. I buy mine on Amazon because they're cheaper. Unless you can find an Ulta deal. My heat's going off. NYX empties that are going in the empty and are not getting linked anywhere because I don't like these. I did, but not anymore. Um, are these Jordana lipsticks? There are the Modern Matte Jordana ones. I liked them a lot. I just... Actually, I really like their textures. The reason I'm put off right now is because they smelled really bad. They started to... They got, they got old. Yeah, they got old. Oh, This was Matte Whisper, and I think this was Cappuccino or something. But I liked the way they... They felt really creamy, but they didn't transfer. But they weren't drying. Um, I might have to go and look some more colors because I really didn't like them when I had them. Next lip product is this um, Tesoro Stila liquid lipstick. This was like a really good orangey red lipstick that I have to figure out if I'm going to buy again. Um, I have other red ones that I use a lot. Again, a red for me, like a red lipstick is a red lipstick. A red lipsticks make my teeth super white. They make my skin look super brown. They make my hair look super dark. They just like do a lot of great things for all my features. 
and this is no different but the reason I like this one a lot is because in the summer that little orangey tinge in there it just looks so good on tan skin so I may have to repurchase this again or I have to find something that's very similar if I do I'm gonna put it below because I really do love this color um, it's like an orangey mm. next lip item is this full throttle um, liquid lipstick in the color what color was this this is like one of my favorite kiss the dust it's like a neutral um, why did I empty this out? Or it fell. Yeah, it fell. Um, this one's a really good one. This is like, a, it's like a liquid. Uh, these textures, I don't know why they don't do more of the colors, but these full throttle textures are really good. They apply like a lipstick. You can get pretty crisp on the edges, but they almost dry like a liquid matte lipstick. And they're tricky to take off. They're kind of a bitch to take off, which is why I like them. So this is a really great product to put like in your purse this color in particular i really like a lot um it just like fell on the floor and it was kind of gross and i, I didn't want to keep i don't want to like yeah okay this color this product um i'm just kind of like over it i didn't i didn't really do a ton or anything like that it's makeup forever it was a little sample thing that i got like on a birthday or something weird or like some points or whatever but this was m56 i liked it for um the convenience of it it was like it's pretty much like a paint like one of those mac paints that mac used to sell that i think they i don't know if they sell them anymore but i really like the way the convenience of the little squeeze tube um it reminds me of acrylic paints and oil paints when i used to paint um, now i'm trying to watercolor I'm testing out watercolor to figure out if i'm if i'm good at that but anyways so um yeah you just squeeze out a little bit and use it as an eyeshadow primer i don't remember much about it honestly the color was good because it was very neutral but again it wasn't special um but I kind of want to dip back into something like this. So maybe I'll look at the MAC ones again and see if they still sell them. But this was just like a very like forgot about a product. And the last product, which I am I'm probably most sad about that I'm finished, that I finished is this Wet n Wild lip liner. Okay, this Wet n Wild lip liner was like my purse favorite. I wore it all the time for almost everything. It's called Lay Down the Moths. Unfortunately, I cannot find it anywhere in store. I literally, I've looked at Targets, I've looked at Walgreens, like all kinds of Walgreens from different neighborhoods, even out in suburbs, like random spaces, different Targets. I look for this one all the time. I cannot find it. Lay Down the Malls was literally the most perfect rosy lip liner. It worked for every lipstick that I had in my purse. It worked for a, like a neutral, a nude, a pink, a rose, everything. So I actually had to look for it on Amazon and I found it on Amazon um, so I've already ordered a few <laughs> they're coming but this one is literally if you have like like a middle skin tone or if you just love a really good mauve lip this one is the best it's this was uh, one of my favorites on my IGT or I'm sorry on my highlights on Instagram um, I also have it at highlights like my personal favorites on my Amazon influencer account this is on there but this is also on my empties because it was just such a good one and i really love their lip liners it's just this color in particular mm, it was just so perfect and so good that is the end of my empties i'm back to filming uh, my little chiquitita is kind of has a little bit more of a rhythm i think maybe i have more of the rhythm i'm kind of blaming her but it's really me i haven't really been in the mood to film for whatever reason um not like sad mood just kind of like the like uh, and I couldn't work up the nerve to do it and set up everything out here in her area because this whole home is now her area. Now I'm at a better mental state where I am excited to film and um, I just wanted to kind of dip my toe in it with this empties video. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully very soon. But in the meantime, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I post on there every single day. I post a lot of IGTV videos on there as well. But I'm excited to come back to YouTube because this is where it all started. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.